Hello there and welcome to Lazy Pirate Gaming. Now here's a little bit of a tutorial for you guys. This is basically covering weapons, gear, crafting, calibrating, mods, basically getting the best gear you can and the best out of your gear. So here we are at the base of operations. Now if you're like me and you want to get the best out of your gear, you're going to want to know what unlocks in each wing is going to best serve these purposes. So let's start off with the security wing and what upgrades we can unlock to help us in acquiring gear and help with crafting and calibrating. Alright, so obviously we start off with the situation room. The next one you probably want to get is the armory. Now that will unlock you an advanced weaponry vendor. So this is similar style weapons to what you'll find in dark zone vendors. The next upgrade you'll want to look at is the dark zone ops. Now this will unlock an actual dark zone vendor in your base of operations, so you don't need to go to the dark zone to find good quality weapons that you can purchase with dark zone coins. Another great upgrade is supply line. This will allow you to purchase clothes from within your base of operations. And have you ever wondered to, you know, you're putting mods on your weapons and you're going, how the fuck do I get some camo on this thing? Well, you can buy camos at the supply line vendor. Another upgrade which would be handy to have is the gunsmith upgrade. From here you can collect weapons parts crafting materials once every hour. And probably the last good security upgrade you could have is procurement team. This will give you a little box which you collect a random item every 12 hours. So that's the hard one over and done with. Now for the tech wing upgrades. There's only one you really need to get the best out of your gear and that is the recalibration station which is, of course, upgraded through the recalibration upgrade. This is a great tool which will allow you to change individual stats on your gear, but we'll get into that a bit later. Now, for the medical wing, there is only also one you should need, and that is the pharmacy upgrade, which will allow you to collect fabrics, crafting materials, once every hour. So now that we've covered what we need to unlock to help with the upgrading of gear, now let's actually focus on getting the gear. So in the base of operations we have weapons vendors, gear vendors and mods vendors. These are found just to your left as you walk through the door. And at these vendors you can purchase this gear with regular coins. And in terms of rarity, from least to most the gear goes white, green, blue, purple and then yellow. And at these vendors you'll find mainly greens and blues and occasionally purple. So another method of purchasing gear is of course Dark Zone Vendors. Now you use Dark Zone coins you acquire in the Dark Zone to purchase these items and these are mainly purple and sometimes blue at lower levels. Now this is the Supply Line Appearance Vendor I was talking about earlier which we unlocked. You can acquire clothes through here and also weapons camo. So if you're after Dark Zone quality weapons but you can't be stuffed going in the Dark Zone then of course there's the Advanced Weaponry Vendor that you can unlock in your base of operations. This will allow you to buy Dark Zone quality weapons but with regular coins. So besides everything I've shown you in the base of operations there are other places on the map to get gear. Safe houses dotted throughout the normal area will allow you to purchase gear and there are one in each sector. And if you're trying to purchase items within the Dark Zone for Dark Zone Currency, there are safe rooms, one in each sector. And there are also the checkpoints between the Dark Zone and the normal area which will allow you to buy gear as well. And last of all, remember that area you first came into Manhattan? Well, there's going to be vendors there too. One weapons vendor, one gear vendor. So if you're really searching for something that the other stores just might not have for you, and these possibly will, you can go check it out. They will have mostly green, blues, and occasionally a purple. Throughout the dark zone, you can find dark zone keys, usually a flute, which you can use to open these crates which require one dark zone key to open. And you can usually find some pretty good gear in there. You will also come across weapon crates in both the normal areas and the dark zone. And of course the common way of getting loot, which you probably know already, is just drops off enemies. And any loot you acquire in the dark zone, of course, you have to extract. So before we get started with crafting, you're going to need to know all the best ways to gather crafting ingredients. So one of the easiest and best ways to get this ingredients is to deconstruct weapons, gear and mods. And the materials you receive 
will be based on what type of item it was that was deconstructed and also the rarity of the item. Okay, so there's different types of ingredients for crafting, right? If we go down into our crafting sources here, we can see we've got cloth, which is fabrics pretty much, weapon parts, tools, electronics, and division tech, which can only be acquired uh, in the dark zone, the division tech that is. Now, a combination of these elements will be used to create different gear, weapons, and even mods. Now getting these ingredients are pretty simple and the best way for electronics parts are hitting up stores that have like laptops and uh, TVs, computers. You'll find these boxes here which will give you electronics. Now it can give you uh, different grades of materials. There's also tools which you can find here at these car yards. Now you just find these little red toolboxes and they will give you different grades of tools. We also got fabric which we can find in stores throughout the world as well. Once again, finding these little boxes which contain the different grades of ingredients, in this case fabrics. Now weapon parts as well, sometimes you've got to fight your way to them, but they'll be in little stashes hidden away. In this case these little bags here, which we can collect different grades of weapon parts from. Division tech can only be found throughout the dark zone, as far as I know, and they're found in these cases, and on the map they appear as division tech landmark zones. Now, some of the unlocks we talked about earlier will help you out. So if we go into the medical wing here, we can acquire fabrics once per hour. Okay, now crafting. The crafting station is across the hall from the weapons, gear and mods vendor. Now if we access this, we'll have a bunch of blueprints we can use to craft our own weapons, gear, mods, you name it. Now you can get blueprints by usually doing side missions throughout the world and they'll reward you with a uh, type of blueprint which you can then take to this crafting station and craft. You can also change your lower ingredients into say specialized grade ingredients or high end grade ingredients if you need to create higher end gear. Okay, so let's get into now recalibrating your gear, which, as I was saying earlier, you can change individual stats and change them to what you prefer. Now, of course, recalibrating isn't going to be free. It does cost a little bit of money each time you use this station. So if we find a piece of gear here we want to recalibrate, for example, this ceramic plate holster, it's got 106 on firearms and 103 on skill electronics. So I want to change that electronics personally to give me more health. So we're going to put it on stamina. So what we do is we roll attributes for the electronics slot. Now this will roll any possible uh, attribute that we could put on there. So it doesn't give you a random attribute. It'll roll all of them and then you can pick one. Now you can see at the bottom there it's going to cost us 2,000 coins, which is okay, because it's totally worth it. Okay, so we go to electronics, and we're going to roll that attribute. Alright, so we've got a chance to put it on electronics, stamina, electronics, stamina, so they're just rolling different numbers there. So we're going to put it on the highest stamina number, and we're going to accept that, and it's going to cost 2,000 coins, so that's going to change that. And you can see it's put it now on stamina, so it's going to give you more health, which is great, and that's what I want. Now you can see now, after we've done that, the only lit up option left is that same stamina slot that we changed. So if we go back into it, we can't change the firearms, the skill haste, or the ballistic shield damage that's grayed out. So you can only do this procedure once with each piece of gear. So you've got to pick carefully, and make sure that's the slot you want changed. So I hope I've explained everything enough for everyone to understand and now what I'm going to do is go through all the processes of acquiring gear, modding, crafting and calibrating. So I'm going to go to the gear vendor here and we're going to look for something to purchase. I think one of these ceramic plate pads will definitely do the trick. Some after firearms, that's got a hundred there, I'll take that. It's got a mod slot which I can then equip a mod onto so I'm happy with that too. Alright, so let's maybe try crafting our own mod. So if we go into crafting here, we scroll all the way down to mods. Uh, gear mods, okay. Now, 
you got gear mod blueprints which can give you just a random uh, main stat, either firearms or stamina or electronics. So, oh, that's given us more firearms. That's great. So that costed us 12 electronics. All right, let's now equip that onto the piece of gear we just bought. So we go into our inventory, go into the plate armor here. All right, so we go into that mod, equip it. Now it's got 116 firearms instead of 100, which is awesome. That's got more now than the actual current gear I got, so I might, I think, hold on to this. All right, so now we want to calibrate this. So we can bend the stats to our will. Let's go to the station over here. Now remember, you can only do this once per item on one slot, and you'll only be able to change that one slot ever again, none of the others. So if we go into here, we've got firearms, that's great. All right, we can change any of these other stats here. I'm thinking maybe giving us some health. So if we go to this one here, we might be able to roll for some more health. Instead of exotic damage resilience, I think. So I'm not really going to need that. Alright, so we can now put on 247 health. Instead of the damage resilience. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so you'll now see that we can only change that stat ever again. And it's going to cost more than the last time as well. So now we've got a good piece of gear, it has a mod, it's got recalibrated stats, and I think, yeah, it's pretty much the same as the other one, but uh, more firearms, which is okay. I'm trying to uh, boost that as much as possible just to keep my damage going. So yeah, we'll equip that, and I think we're good to go. Alright guys, so uh, thank you very much for watching if you made it this far, and I hope this helps anyone that had any gear, weapon, mod, crafting, calibration related uh, issues. Or if there's just, you know, some piece of information you might have needed to know, I hope this helped. So now it's time to go out here and kick some ass, get more gear, and keep modding. Thanks again for watching guys. Cheers. Oh, what? That was no. so fucking run, run, like... Run. Stunned. Kill yourself.